what I'm on about! That's what I'm on about! Hello boys and girls and welcome to the preview and predicted lineup Arsenal against Benfica tomorrow night and uh, yeah the Europa League is back but given the fact that we are playing Benfica it's kind of got that Champions League feel to it that's what I'm thinking anyway now normally at this stage of the competition you kind of still get one of those sides that are quite favourable in terms of the draw and one that you look at and say should be able to navigate this quite comfortably. But Sod's Law, Arsenal go and draw possibly one of the toughest that they could draw. Um, and it was Benfica. Now, in the qualifying rounds, um, they were in the same group as Rangers. And they actually finished second in the group. Um, but they didn't lose in their six games. Um, so that was quite an interesting one. And, um, you know, got to see a little bit of them. Um, there's a few players that um, you'll recognise, most notably in defence, uh, with the likes of Vertonghen, um, formerly of Spurs, um, and Otamendi as well, formerly of Manchester City. Um, so it's going to be interesting how this one pans out because it's technically an away tie, but we're not actually playing in Portugal because of the whole coronavirus situation. Um, the game's been moved to Rome, so we're technically both playing away, but they're going to be classed as the home team. Now, away goals do count, despite the fact that you're not going to be playing at your home. So, this game is important to get goals, because ultimately, they could count. So, I hope you're with me still, and understand, you know, the way this works out, but... Um, Strange situation we find ourselves in and I feel that maybe um, they could have looked at doing just one leg affairs like they did towards the latter part of the Champions League last season and the Europa League. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to do the two legs and we've got to go out to Greece next week. But this one is very, very important because let's be honest, the Premier League season has been abysmal and... Um, we're not going to be getting into the Champions League places via the top four. So, this is one of the avenues we've got left to try and do it. It's going to be a tall order. But um, we've got to see how far we can get. And um, first obstacle in the way is Benfica. Now, in their respective league, they're not having a great time at the moment. Currently fourth. Um, 19 games played. 1-11, drawn five and lost three. Um, they scored 33 goals and conceded 17. Now, their last five matches, they've only won one game. Three of those have been draws and one has been a defeat. So, we could definitely get something out of this game. Let's be honest about it. And I think that, you know, we might sit here and worry about them. But I'll tell you something, Benfica would be worried about us. And we're the team that they wouldn't want to have you know, drawn in the hat. Um, maybe at the time of the draw, they were quite happy because we were awful. But we certainly turned things around a bit since then. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this game, most definitely. Team lineup is going to be very, very important for this game. Bear in mind, we've just played Leeds United. Bear in mind, we actually have Manchester City on Sunday. And also bear in mind that we've got to travel all the way to Rome um next week or not rome sorry greece rome is tomorrow um for the second leg when it's supposedly at the emirates and then we've got to travel to leicester absolutely horrendous schedule but it is what it is so with that said let's go and get into the starting 11 starting off in goal burn leno very very straightforward and um matt ryan i feel is a you know very capable deputy but Bern Leno is our number one. And I feel that, you know, Matt Ryan's probably unlucky that we've got Benfica because he may well have got a run out in this competition. But you play your best goalkeeper and that's Bern Leno. Um, back four, starting off in the right back position. I'm going to go with Cedric. And I think you can see why I'm putting him on that side. Um, 
and I feel that you know he's been very consistent you know he made that mistake against um, Aston Villa but overall he's done really well whilst filling in for Kieran Tierney and I just feel that he offers a lot more than Hector Bellerin so that's what I'm gonna go with um, right center back I'm gonna stick with David Luiz bit unfortunate for Rob Holding but I feel that David Luiz is experience going to Benfica as well it could mean a little something um, although not going to Benfica but you know what I mean playing against them um, and I just feel that you know this is a sensible you know selection for me and that's what I'm gonna go with um, left center back Gabriel I feel he was really really good um, last time out and he's starting to get himself you know back up to speed again after missing you know games through coronavirus and then having to try and break back into the side and everything and um, I've got no problem with this. I think that's, um, you know, a very good um, central defensive pairing. Um, left back, Kieran Tierney. Um, my word, have we missed him. And you know he's travelled, he's been in full training and he needs to play. It's as simple as that. If you had to pick this game or the Manchester City game, I'm picking this game. Let's be real about it. This game is more important than Sunday's game because this is our avenue into the Champions League. It's as simple as that. So Kieran Tierney starts for me. Um, two in midfield. Now, of course, uh, no Thomas Partey gutted, um, but hopefully he's got an outside chance of the second leg. Um, but to start with, Granit Xhaka. And I feel that uh, since he's returned from his red card um, all them months ago, he's been very, very good, very consistent. And um, I've got no problem with this selection at all. Alongside him, Danny Sabayas, I thought he was really good at the weekend. And he keeps his place for me. Really, really good. Um, now the attacking three. And um, we've got some options here. But first of all, on the right-hand side, Bakayo Saka. I don't even need to say why. Some suggestions are saying maybe resting for this game, saving for Man City. Wrong way round. Play him in this game. Rest him against Man City if you had to make the choice. This is more important. I've said it already. Um, now, in the number 10, wow, there's going to be some selection headaches. We've gone from having no number 10 to having a couple of options. But for this, I'm going to go with Martin Odegaard. I was really impressed with his performance at the weekend and just the way he knits things together. Very tidy, you know, very simple, but so important. And I just feel for this game, he could be very, very good. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, left wing, I'm going to go with Nicola Pepe. Um, I feel that he was rested in the game at the weekend with this game in mind. And my view does not change. Um, I feel that Pepe can cause a lot of problems, just as he has been doing for the last month. And, um, you know, maybe a bit harsh on Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, but I just feel for this game, this is what I'm going to go with. Um, up front, as the main striker, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And um, Lacazette can kind of feel hard done by because I feel that he was rested with this game in mind. But when Aubameyang scores a hat-trick and was looking the way he was, you can't drop him. I'm not putting him out on that left-hand side. I'm putting him up front. It's unfortunate for Lacazette, but that's the life of a striker. Aubameyang is our best striker so he starts up front for me and it's as simple as that so there we go that is it for my preview and my predicted lineup as usual let me know in the comment section what you think very obvious the formation will be a 4-2-3-1 so the only thing you've got to tell me is the personnel if you do not agree with me Leno, Cedric, Louise, Gabriel, Tierney, Sabayas, Shaka. Saka, Odegaard, Pepe, Aubameyang. That's two changes from the victory against Leeds at the weekend. With Tierney coming in the side and Pepe coming into the side. Um, and I think that's a very, very, very strong lineup. And uh, like I said, away goals are important. We need to score out there. A couple would be lovely. Um, but it'd be a tough game. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. But I'm gutted things are not normal and the game's not in Portugal 
and we're not traveling there because I'd probably be sitting there right now in a hotel in Portugal. Oh, I can't wait till COVID has finally gone and we can get back to normal, but it is what it is. Um, if you're new around it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of it.